In this video, I want to show you how to fix your very noisy stairs. If your stairs are anything like mine, they make noise as soon as you step around right here. This is caused by looseness right here where the riser contacts the tread. On my treads, there's a routed out area that the riser sits in. So when I press down on the tread, you can see it move slightly and that rubbing is what creates that loud noise. The root cause is that there's nothing supporting the load right here in this area on the underside. I'm going to show you now. Underneath the stairs, this is the riser and this is the tread right here. The riser is secured to the tread on the backside with nails or staples like this. When someone steps on the tread right here, the load is transferred to right here but there's nothing supporting load right here. So this is allowed to flex inward. The treads are supported laterally on the riser. As you can see, it's routed out into the wood. So the load bearing surface is right here. On my stairs, there are shims between the tread and the riser where it's cut out. So the only supporting areas are right here and clear on the other side right here. There's nothing in the middle to support this load. So to fix this problem, I'm gonna attach a mini riser connecting the tread to the bottom of this riser. That way when load is applied right here, it'll try to push down, but it'll be supported. Another common cause of squeaky stairs is this wedge right here might fall out over time. If it's fallen out, then this tread has nothing to support it, so it'll move like this every time you step on it. The solution is just to make some new wedges and coat them in wood glue, then drive them in to make sure this is solid again. Here's an example of a broken wedge. For this tutorial, you will need some screws, a drill bit, a drill, some two by fours, a circular saw or a miter saw, and some wood glue. The first step is to cut a wedge along the length of your two by four. I'm gonna start roughly an eighth inch away from this corner right here. And it only needs to be about a 15 degree angle going upwards like this. And this is gonna go along the entire length of your board. Mark right here where the long edge is. Measure the distance from that to the end and then draw a line across the length of your board. Next step, set your circular saw to roughly 15 degrees angled right here. So on mine, I just loosen it like this, set it to where I want. I lined up the arrow to 15 degrees. Then I just tighten it back down. To make the cut, I'm gonna line up my zero mark on the circular saw to the line I just made, and I'm gonna go along the entire length of the board. Next up, we're gonna measure off each little block of wood. I decided to use two and a half inches wide. You could use whatever length you'd like. So I'm just gonna quickly mark off my pieces, and then I'm gonna cut them. Once you cut your pieces, you will need to cut your wedge piece at the same time. So I'm just gonna hold it like this and cut across so I don't have to make an extra cut again on the wedge. Don't forget to set your circular saw back to a 90 degree cut or else these will come out at angles. Now you should have a bunch of blocks with matching wedges. Now I'm underneath the stairs and it's time to pre-drill our holes. So what we're going to do is drill two holes in the block. It's going to go through the block and into the riser. It cannot go through the riser or else it'll come out on the other side. If you wanted these blocks to be completely symmetric, you would measure from here on the stringer to here and divide that into three and put a block at each spot where it's in the third. So you put one right here in the center and right here, wherever you measured. I'm not gonna measure anything because it's not too critical. I'm just gonna eyeball it. It's important that you put the wedge angled like this, and this needs to be up against the tread above it like this. To make sure you don't drill all the way through to the other side of the riser, what I'm gonna do is put your stud like this. This is the bottom of the riser right here. I'm gonna get my drill bit and line up to where it would stop if I was drilling through. So you can see, this pretty much goes to the very end of the riser, so I'm gonna move my drill bit back in a little bit. And you see there is roughly a quarter inch gap, so I'm gonna drill all the way through this, and it's gonna go into the riser slightly and then stop. I can't drill anymore because it's gonna hit right here. After you have set your drill bit, I'm gonna mark it right here so I know exactly where I need to go without having to measure it again. So now I'm gonna put this up at the top of the riser and then drill two holes right next to each other. Since my stairs are very old, this wood is already very brittle and I'm worried about it cracking. So instead of putting the nail right next to each other laterally, I'm gonna move one up here so it's not anywhere near the same grain level. Before I drill the other hole though, I'm gonna drive a screw through here so it'll hold it in place. Also to further avoid cracking, I'm gonna make sure my drill bit for the pilot hole is just smaller than the screw so only the threads are digging into the wood. I'm gonna put this up against and make sure it slides into that hole. Now I'm gonna drill my second hole. Now I'm gonna put my second screw in. 
Now it's time to apply the glue. So what I'm going to do is on the back side, on the part that contacts the riser, I'm going to put glue all over it. Then I'm going to screw it in. I'm going to wipe away any excess glue. Now I'm going to get my wedge piece and with the flat side up like this, so it'll sit like this. I'm going to apply glue to both sides of the wedge now. Then I'm going to sit my wedge in there with the flat side up, push a little bit on it just to let it sit there. Then with some sort of blunt object, I'm going to put it right here and with the mallet, just lightly hammer it in. It should raise this up as it wedges in there. I'm going to wipe away any excess glue. Then I'm going to repeat this step for all of the blocks on the treads. This is how one stair will look when you're done. I'm halfway through the staircase. I'm going to show you the difference both with the blocks and without the blocks. You can see that tread right there is where I stopped. And that is how you fix squeaky stairs. This video was helpful. Please like and subscribe.